You want to know who the chosen is? Son of man. The chosen equals son of man. Amazing. And then so if you say the chosen one, that's one son of man. Okay. Um, Jesus is the chosen son of man. Amazing. This is, I've been getting so many 97s from the Lord. So it's very obvious to me. So take the letters, the chosen. Well, you can take, if you want, you can take Theo, which is a famous son combo, but why not take S-O-N literally out of chosen? I know man equals T-H and the rest equals of. Done. Okay. The chosen. Son of man. Son of man. Jesus. The chosen. Son of man. Okay. Done. Beautiful. Son of just seeing if there's any other ways I would you could take the HHC for the of and then the T chosen chosen so wait for it okay here's the revelation the joy of choosing this is beautiful and the joy of being chosen ooh that's good so um the root of the word choose, okay, is C-H-O-O-S, which divides by five. It's a joy package, okay? The word choose is just like the word cheese, okay? We know that cheese is a joy to man, okay? Um, we've had famous combinations from the Lord. Wine and cheese purifies, okay? Um, bread and wine, same thing, okay? Grapes and cheese, divine combination that we all know and love pure fives, pure joy. So the word cheese is identical in its joy declaration to the word choose, the joy of choosing. And I've had the Lord say to me some, I'm not even joking, I had the Lord say to me um, some days, choose cheese. I'm not even joking. It's like, go to the store and I'm actually craving cheese and the Lord's like, choose cheese. Why? For my maximum joy. It's that simple. Um, so the joy of choosing, the joy of being chosen, C-H-O-O-S, that's 60 points, enough said, okay, um, but I love that gem, the chosen son of man, the chosen equals son of man, so I have been getting tons of son of man gems, tons of 97s, um, could the Lord's be, re could the Lord's return be sooner than we think, because son of man is the final title of Christ that he uses to refer to himself when he comes back. It's like you read any declaration of Jesus about his return, and he uses the title Son of Man. Just go ahead and search for yourself on Blue Letter Bible, Son of Man, and look for it's just when the Son of Man okay, comes in his glory, then they shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Um... Okay, and it's very tear-jerking. And when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, then he shall sit upon the throne of his glory, and he shall separate the sheep from the goats. Um, and um, again, as it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be in the days of the Son of Man. So there is something about this, well, the God, Jesus is God, and his ordained title, Son of Man, which is the most repeated title in your English Bible that he uses of himself, we might be closer to his return than many of us think. I just, I've been getting Son of Man gems like crazy. I've been getting 97s like crazy. Um, amazing Son of Man. Okay. The cho so the chosen equals Son of Man. Remarkable. Makes you want to chew on that number 97 a little more, doesn't it? Now, as a gem for you, 97 is the 25th prime. Half a joy, perfectly, okay? So there's always this theme of joy. Isn't that touching, okay? Okay. Um, there's always this central theme of joy, okay, to everything in this whole story that God is. And... Um, so, Son of Man, oh yeah, no, it's a total joy package, because Son of Man is 97, which is the 25th prime, 5 times 5. And then when you say, the Son of Man, 
you complete the five fest perfectly to bring it up to a multiple of five, namely 130. And if you slow down and parse the letters, squeezing out the fives, in particular the fifties, the joys, and all the rest of it, you won't be disappointed. The entire message okay, of God and Jesus in the flesh, who is God, the second member, who is the Son of Man, okay, it's joy. It's all joy. It's joy for God, the Holy Trinity, and it's joy for us and all the creation. <sighs> okay. So, there you go. So that's a gem. That's a fact to memorize. That Son of Man is ninety-seven, which is the twenty-fifth prime, five times five. And I was led from the beginning to check. It's like, okay, if a number is prime, which prime number is it? Oh, it's the twenty-fifth prime. Okay. There's your joy message right there. Five times five. Okay. This entire this entire story is God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Ghost. This entire story of everything that you can think of, it's all them. So seek them, desire them, and worship them today. Oh yeah. It's epic beyond your wildest dreams. And heaven is ecstasy beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs>